Oh, yeah, perhaps it's easier if I send you a voicemail, actually, rather than all this writing. I just want to inform you because we are in a terrible state here in Spain. We didn't listen to the authorities in Italy. And so we started our lockdown three weeks after we should have. We have now been in lockdown. This is my eighth day. I have not left the house and I am not leaving the house until the authorities tell us to. And they're now saying the 15th of April. So we have to be a month locked up. You do not leave your house on lockdown. I'm worried about your parents. Uh, I'll tell you the situation here without putting the fear of God into you. What is happening here in Spain? And the Spanish authorities are saying because Boris Johnson is not doing a complete lockdown, uh, it's going to be twice as bad in England. As of tomorrow, every hotel in Spain closes. They are opening as quarantine centres. And because all the hospitals are so full, they have no ventilators now. They have no materials. So if there are 10 people trying to go into intensive care to save their lives, the doctors will only choose five of them. The five that haven't been chosen are the elderly. They are trying to save the young people. So please do not go and visit your parents. Tell the boys, do not go and visit your parents. Okay? Because this will happen in England. Take my word for it. This will happen. Your parents must not leave the house. They're saying in England that you can only get this if you cough on someone or you touch something that's contaminated. You get this through talking. Through talking, the air particles that are moist coming out of your mouth, if you have talked to a contagious person, half the youngsters in England most probably are already contagious. But because in England you're not being tested, nobody knows. They think they've got a sore throat. One of the other signs is either sickness or diarrhea, which I don't think you've been told in England that that is one of the symptoms. I think all you guys think it's just if you cough or if you get a temperature or whatever. There are so many other symptoms. Please take care. Okay, you're in a park at the moment, but I, I'm here almost in tears because here we're getting hundreds and hundreds of people dying daily. And this is going to be England in two weeks time. So please don't think I'm being over dramatic. I'm not. We are not leaving the house. This is a scary, scary situation. Our hospitals, there are no beds for anybody now in our hospitals. There is no material. There is nothing here. So although we're not going out, stocking up on blue roll like you guys are no one is going out here in spain you get fined 600 euros if you're out in the street and you're not actually going to a chemist or a supermarket if you share a car here you get fined a thousand euros you cannot have anybody in your car this is serious serious shit this virus lives on plastic for four years up uh, four years beg your pardon oh i'm going off on one here now four days OK, so supermarket trolleys, if the handles are not getting disinfected, if you're not wearing gloves, everyone touches their face, everyone touches their mouth. This virus is bloody lethal. So love you lots, but I just worry about all of you. Obviously, my family know all the ins and outs of it because I'm videoing them daily with all our updates because because of Boris Johnson's stupidity are uh, England is going to be the worst place in Europe and you could all be in lockdown and quarantine for three or four months because of this stupidity of not being in lockdown two weeks ago. So take care. The virus is out there. You say you're not vulnerable. Everyone is. I've got friends of mine at the moment that are in hospital. I've got a friend yesterday. Her father died. He was taken to hospital five days ago. They are in such quarantine that she couldn't be with him in his dying hours. She didn't see him for five days before he died because they are not letting anybody into the hospitals. So please, you don't think you're vulnerable. Everyone is vulnerable. Policemen here that have been, uh, you know, policemen died yesterday, our nurses and doctors are now all dying. Teenagers are dying, babies are dying with no, you know, breathing problems or whatever. As they're saying in England, it's only people that are susceptible to pneumonia or cancer or whatever. 
this affects everyone. So I've had my little rant. I love you lots. And I'm only ranting because I really care about you and your family. Okay. Love you lots. Bye.